And welcome back here to Wake Med Soccer Park, a fantastic night of soccer. We had the final score of the Carolina Railhawks 5, the San Antonio Scorpions 2. And, you know, we, we talked to Coach Colin Clark, an amazing performance from Carolina all the way through from the goalkeeper all the way up. You know, they were able to get on the scoreboard early and often tonight and just just an all-around fantastic performance. And you got to really praise. It started at the back with Julius James and Paul Hamilton winning headers, making sure that the clearances were made, making sure that the the diagonal runs from the Scorpions attackers couldn't couldn't be made and couldn't, they couldn't catch that last pass. And then, of course, that just moved up to Floyd Franks, yeah. Nick Millington, battling hard in the midfield and making sure that they got the ball turned and could push the attack forward. And, of course, Zach Shalosky and goals. Brian Shriver both getting two goals yeah. tonight. So really, really great performance. You couldn't pick anybody out for one individual performance. But I, I'm really happy with what I saw from Zach Shalosky and just his work and hustle. Of course, we have a lot of... <laughs> A lot of replays to show you here. A lot of great goals here in this one. And, you know, as we mentioned, it started out early. And he talked about the play from Jordan Gray, who laid this into the path of Floyd Franks. And, wow. And Floyd just put a boot through it right there. And then here we've got the controversial push there from Hamilton that gave up the penalty. And give it up to the credit to Hans Dennison as, as he played this penalty about as perfectly as you could from a striker standpoint. Akira just guessed wrong. And then here we see great hard work from Brian Shriver and Zach Shalosky can just poke it in there and that gave us the lead and you know we didn't really see that evaporate for the rest of the game and Austin Deludes was fed here and a great ball there just turned in and what accuracy from Brian Shriver right there to put it just past the outstretched hand and then of course Shriver again and he'll cut it in lay it off and look at Shipolani just lay it back in for Deleuze and Deleuze footwork right here is immaculate and then of course Shalosky just heads it home off the beautiful layoff there over the top from Deleuze and but San Antonio didn't want to go away did they they didn't and you could see here as Vuko the big 6'6 defender gets his head on it and Akira again comes up big and on the ensuing corner though we just couldn't keep it out there as Vasilich just knocks it home. And you had a real sense right there that this could get very dangerous. Again, there as you see Akira. And Bayona, when he came on in the second half, was really a, made an impact for the Scorpions going forward. And then we can't mention enough Brian Ackley holding up the ball here and then laying it back off. And Shriver just places it past the keeper for his second of the night and really everyone going forward. We had so many opportunities. You knew that at any moment one of those was going to connect and find the back of the net, John. And that is the final score tonight. The Carolina Railhawks 5, the San Antonio Scorpions 2. Next, Carolina goes on the road against Atlanta next Saturday. For Jason Schrader, Kelly Clendenning, and John Bouillet, we thank you so much for tuning in tonight. And we always leave you saying, how, how about, about the, the Carolina, Carolina Railhawks? Railhawks?